<coughs> Good morning, everybody. And uh, first of all, thanks to Thunder Engineering for the effort to consolidate uh, the fire engineering community and for the opportunity to present our, uh, our job. Um, my presentation regards the um, uh, um, regards the fire engineering approach we used to measure the risk level in, uh, in tunnels, in tunnels ventilation design, um, passing through a comparative analysis. This approach can be used uh, both in uh, design stage, uh, when alternative design solutions have to be studied, or during the life cycle of the infrastructure, when, for example, the company that manages that, the tunnels um, are obliged to introduce modifications uh, that could be in terms of architectural uh, or civil works or mechanical ventilation. And uh, fine engineering is always uh, more frequent, uh, the, the element that uh, allows to connect all these disciplines and in a lot of cases to solve the, the problems for uh, general contractors, engineering companies, and so on. <coughs> um, the methodology um, necessary to implement this approach, the approach I'm going to present you, uh, normally um, needs a multi-scale approach combining the 1D analysis with the use of CFD plus evacuation simulations because the, um, the core of this approach is to measure the performances that allows to evaluate the interaction between people and uh, combustion products during the evacuation. Um, that are the exhaust time and the fractional effective dose of the Fed. The first case study uh, I present to you uh, to explain this approach is a two-way tunnel uh, wherein a transversal ventilation logic is applied. The evacuation system is provided of ventilated refugees. This is a six kilometers uh, uh, long uh, tunnel. Um, now, the, um, starting from two or three years ago, the, the company that manages this tunnel is uh, developing a project to finalize it, to arrive on a final configuration of the, of the tunnel that will be uh, two one-way tubes. The problem uh, for the company is to um, identify a way to measure the risk level associated to the tunnel during the construction phase because the, the infrastructure will be in different configuration, probably in a very long time. So the configuration B, the current configuration, for example, is the configuration A, the original one, plus a series of uh, modifications mm, that consist in the presence of uh, 17 uh, branches in the final configuration, the branches that uh, will connect the two tubes will be 34, and um, the fact that the dampers, the number of dampers used for the smoke extraction uh, are four instead of 10. Now, to evaluate the uh, objective uh, safety uh, in, uh, in a tunnel like this, um, it is possible to proceed just through uh, one the uh, analysis, uh, verifying that the zero velocity point is guaranteed in correspondence of the fire, because this means that uh, two air flow converging on fire are realized. But if we limit the verification to this approach, the configuration B, the current configuration, even if there, are, um, there, were, do, uh, there were done um, modifications in the sense of safety, it could appear less safety of the configuration A because the, um, the zero point uh, velocity 
is not uh, guaranteed for the presence of the 17 branches that change the inertia of air in the entire system. So we propose to the client to uh, approach the problem, <laughs> evaluating the interaction of people with the combustion products and um, performing an, an analysis um, that take into consideration the as uh, performances to monitor the Fed and the aggress time. Um, performing the analysis on, on the basis of the same fire scenario hypothesis, we demonstrated that the aggress time and the Fed in configuration B is, uh, are less than the configuration A, demonstrating that the, the system is um, as a level of safety higher than the, the original one. For what concerns the smoke control, um, the fact that in the configuration B they use uh, only four dampers instead of 10 is visible uh, if you plot the temperature on another <coughs> variable uh, in function of the progressive of the tunnel. In fact, you can see that in the configuration B, the portion of tunnel involved with smoke is shorter than the configuration A. Finally, um, uh, we um, reported in, uh, in this plot uh, for each configuration, the egress time calculated in, uh, in the calm green uh, field uh, in case of fire and uh, with the calm empty in absence of fire. You can see that passing from the configuration A to the configuration B, the difference in terms of egress time is lower. This means that the configuration B even if it's an emergency situation, it's so close to a situation in absence of fire. It is a, um, a confirm of our uh, job. The case study two regards an existing opera. There are a series of tunnels um, where noise barriers uh, had to be installed uh, after the, uh, evidently, the construction of the, the original construction of the two tunnels. So the um, company that manages this, uh, this opera has the problem to evaluate how change the risk passing from the configuration A to the configuration B, uh, from a case without the noise barrier and the case with noise barrier. The noise barrier, just to um, clarify for, for all, uh, has to be considered as a portion of tunnel closed on the sides with um, open baffles on the ceiling um, located at the end or at the beginning of the original tunnel. Because of the uh, original tunnels um, have a length less of one kilometer, no ventilation is uh, required, but the presence of the noise barrier <coughs> can increase the fluidodynamical length of the tunnel and um, create a situation in which an, um, ventilation equipment could become necessary. We support the, the client, su suggesting him to uh, perform the analysis according to the approach I explained in the case study one, in the first one. And we consider the worst uh, case uh, for the fire scenario, um, positioning the, the fire in, in order to maximize the spreading of smoke along the, the system. Um, we use two different uh, HRR curves with two dif different for uh, grow rate and um, peak value. And we uh, obtained that as a result that in the configuration A, the smoke uh, spread outside of the tunnel two without coupling with the tunnel one. While in the configuration B, the smoke spread and through the 
nose barrier um, enter also in the tunnel one, but also involve the, the carriage where the fire is not located. That is probably the worst uh, situation in this case. Uh, the increase of the risk level is confirmed analyzing for the two configurations the, um, the trend of uh, variables as, for example, the CO concentration that, as you can see, is higher in terms of value and in terms of the portion of tunnel in of the tunnel system involved. To conclude my, uh, my speech, just as a suggestion and, uh, for, uh, for the Thunder Engineering to um, continue the development as they are doing in, uh, in Pathfinder in order to include the possibility to um, coupling the results coming from uh, FDS um, in order to take into account the reduction of speed in function of the degrees of visibility and the contribution of thermal fed and uh, toxic fed. Thank you for the attention.